Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. All right, Sean Combs, Sean Diddy Combs, is now facing a lawsuit with over 100 plaintiffs that accuse him of abusing them in the worst way, S-A. You know this is YouTube. You know uh, they don't take kindly to certain terminology. We are following breaking news right now related to music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Major new allegations today of assault and exploitation by Combs. For the first time, we are hearing about victims who say they were minors when they were allegedly assaulted by the music star. The youngest allegedly just nine years old. The allegations were revealed today by attorneys representing more than 100 alleged victims who are preparing to sue. But look, these suits include an individual who was nine years old at the time. Now, this is not a criminal action. This is a civil action. This is directed at his money. Okay. Now, um, we don't have many details. Okay. We heard from the attorney just a moment ago. We'll hear more uh, on this case in a minute. But uh, if half of these allegations are true, then let me just say this. Okay. And this is a financial channel. And we're going to talk about this in the context of not just him, but others, other high profile people being impacted financially, as they should be, at least. But I want to tell you that in the land of Tyronistan, let's just say, uh, let's just say we'd be a lot less civil and a bit more medieval or Middle Eastern when we're talking about crimes of this nature. It's unconscionable. It's absolute. And listen, if you had any designs or have any designs on the entertainment industry, I would, I would highly encourage you to reconsider. It's an evil industry. Someone in the comment section disagreed with me. They said, look, I still listen to bad boy artists. And I say, hey, look, to each his own. I'm just telling you I don't, all right? When I find out the character of one of these individuals, I drop them, okay? It's easy, all right? I just drop them. I don't consume the product anymore because in this case especially, it is obvious to me what energies he was drawing on in order to tap into his creativity. And I don't want any part of it. This guy's sick, okay? There's a lot of similar smoke. And where there's smoke, there's fire, all right? You got a lot of people talking. And this attorney is saying that they're vetting people. You just can't, he's had over 3,000 people come to him. They've only got, what, 100 and some odd individuals in the suits so far. These are not class. This is not a class action. These are over 100 individual civil suits and that number may grow. More than 100 victims, including one who was nine years old at the time, are expected to file lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs for alleged SA and exploitation in cases that will expose, quote, Many powerful people, unquote, lawyers announced today. Oh, this is going to take Hollywood down, hopefully. Hopefully it will. Really, because uh, you imagine somebody, they're just good at singing or whatever it is, you know, acting. And they want to go off to L.A. and try to make it in that business, right? And then when they get there. Los Angeles, the city of angels, 
But what angels? Okay? Fallen angels. Uh, they get out there, and very few make it. I mean, it's just like any any industry. I mean, you're going to have only a handful of CEOs. You have more vice presidents. You have more directors. Um, but in Hollywood, very few make it to the rarefied air where you're making $20 million a film. That is rare. That is very, very rare. And we've heard people like Taraji P. Henson say that there's really not that much money in these movies. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm. The math ain't mathing. Mm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm. fact that we're up here is a whole entire team behind That's us. Right. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Mm -hmm. Now we have 5 million. Mm -hmm. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is getting, off of what you grossed. Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. Okay. So unless you're a leading man or a leading lady. And she's a good actress, right? But even she's not satisfied. And I think one of the things that scares these folk is that, okay, you take me, for example. Uh, we've got a real estate business. We've got financial services business, right? Okay. So we've got a couple of streams of income. whoop de doo But if you've got one stream of income that is reliant on producers and these fat cats giving you a shot, you could quickly fall out of favor. You've heard, oh, you'll never work in this town again. All right, so we're dealing with people, and this is why I caution people. Is it really worth it? No. Is it really worth it to get into that industry and expose yourself to people like Combs? All right? Even if you never went to one of his parties, if you're in his, if, if you're in his aura, imagine the negative energy that this guy exudes. A lot of people have said that, that have actually met him, right? I want to focus on the ages of these victims. When we talk about the ages of these victims, when the conduct occurred, it's shocking. Texas-based lawyer Tony Busby said during a press conference Tuesday, the fresh wave of complaints by 120 accusers were roughly split evenly by gender, spanned over 30 years, and included 25 minors. With one child who was allegedly just nine when they were victimized, a Busby said in Houston, Texas on Thursday. Scott Busby is, uh, this is not an ambulance chaser, okay? This guy has had many high-profile uh, lawsuits that he's been very uh, successful at, um, I'll say prosecuting. I'm not using it in the legal sense. The children the rapper allegedly abused were seeking TV or music careers with promises from Combs of, I'll make you a star. Okay. Hey, remember this? I mean, remember this weird and very disturbing video that Combs released? And I want you to also pay attention to his sons and their reaction during this. He saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. That's like a little bit like borderline suspect. <laughs> I don't want nobody, you know, we want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids, Charlize Theron, everybody that's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent. I always come over. Yes. And, and it's Ava mm -hmm. Brioni Combs. Come on. These kids, these people were seeking fame. Uh, they wanted to be in the entertainment industry. You had Combs allegedly promising them, oh yeah, I'm going to make you a star. You're going to be the next big thing. And then 
uh, using horse tranquilizers to put them out. A lot of these people are saying, hey, they woke up the next day and had injuries consistent with the type of abuse that we're talking about. OK, um, this is vile. This is demonic. And I hope they take every thin dime that he has. And if you're someone, because whenever I do something on Diddy, you get some of these people that come out of the woodwork and defend him. If you are defending him, you are complicit, at least in the idea aspect of it. All right. Again, where there's smoke, there's fire. And we got a whole lot more than smoke. We got videotape. OK of him beating the hell out of a woman that was fleeing from him, all right? And they made up some cock and bull story about, uh, well, she had his clothes. So what? Did she deserve that? I mean, hell, man, you own Sean John. You can't get more clothes, all right? That was a lie, okay? So this lawyer, Busby, is going after the money, I've told you guys before in two other videos, Sean Combs, if he ever gets out of prison, is going to be a guy that you see standing on a street corner begging for money. He'll have half his teeth and probably be stoned out of his mind if he ever sees the light of day again, if he ever breathes free air again. I'm not even going to do the cautionary tale thing here, okay? Because this guy is losing everything, including his freedom, any legacy he built for his children, okay? His children better start thinking about college and looking for some real jobs, all right? He's destroyed that. He's destroyed every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears he put into his companies, all right? And the government's going to take all that away. And then whatever's left, you're going to have... Attorneys like Busby, pick the bones clean. This is animalistic. I, I, no, it's not animalistic. Animals don't do shit like this. Okay? This is demonic. This is just beyond the pale. And I can't wait until Busby reveals these other people. Now, Busby, you got to reveal them. You said you know who they are. You got to reveal them. Because if you don't, then the question I'll have is how much did they pay you not to reveal them, right? The other thing Busby better do is he better hire some security, all right? Better do that. Because this is going to not only affect the pockets of Sean Combs, it's going to affect the pockets of whomever else is involved, and rightfully so. Anyone complicit in this should not come out on the other side with one Thin dime.